Unfortunately, the only briefing that they're uh, promising is next week. I'm hoping it's not too late, literally. I don't know if uh, someone in the White House is waiting for a Gulf of Tonkin moment here uh, to initiate uh, military action against Iran. That would be a serious mistake. And under our Constitution, this president has to think, seek the authority to do that from Congress. It's a reminder that the Constitution was written so that no president is unaccountable. The, the accountability should be through the American people. It would be a serious mistake, first, to withdraw from the treaty that stopped the development of nuclear weapons in Iran, and then to see the situation escalate to the point where this president is even considering military action. Good morning, Senator. Good morning. Yeah. You think this is just the UK trying to get on board with the US to be on the same page, or do you just because there was a lot of criticism that the U.S. didn't have support from allies earlier this week when they talked about the military plan. Well, number one, I'm a United States Senator in charge of foreign uh, assistance uh, State Department funding. I'm in charge of making sure that uh, they are adequately secured in Iraq and other places. I have not been briefed about why we withdrew people from the uh, consulate and the embassy. That's disappointing and unacceptable. So I'm not going to comment on something I don't know about. And I would tell the administration you should pick up the phone and call members of Congress so that we don't have a microphone put in our face. Ask us about why you're doing something and we have no clue. Senator, Senator what's... The confusion coming from our allies simply shows the need for the White House and the Pentagon to brief Congress and to come clean to the American people. The American people have been kept in the dark. It is disgraceful and despicable that we're on the verge of war and the American people are given this kind of confused and chaotic picture of what the situation is on the ground. We are supposedly going to have a briefing on Tuesday. We're hearing it may be too late because hostilities may have begun or there may be an escalation of the military situation. That is absolutely petrifying. It should be frightening for the American people. I'll be making a statement later today, but I'm not prepared to at this point. Are you still talking with them? 